least most reliable forms of energy. Today, with the revolution we have seen in the shale gas industry, that tends to be natural gas. And so what we are doing is transitioning away from coal towards natural gas, combined with new environmental regulations that we will comply with. Uh, here's kind of the math. Let me give you two cuts at it, one energy and the other one capacity, from an energy standpoint. Southern Company is a little bit smaller, but similar to the energy production profile of the nation of Australia. We are a great big company from an energy production standpoint. Some years ago, we produced 70 or 80 percent of our energy from coal. In 2012, we believe that energy production will be more like 35 percent. We will have cut it in half. Natural gas, some years ago, was 16 percent of our energy. This year, 47 percent is what we project. And we have great flexibility in the future because we know the fuel markets will move over time. And in fact, we can vary our delivery of energy by fuel type with a great deal of flexibility, arguably as much as there is the electric utility industry today. That really goes back to some great decisions other people at Southern made even during the 90s. So the other thing I want to talk about is capacity. As a result of some of these new regulations, we had a little over 20,000 megawatts of coal. Uh, as a result of uh, accommodating these new regulations, we will probably by 2015 preserve of the 20 about 12,000 megawatts. Of the eight, we will probably shut down about 4,000 megawatts to shut them down and retire the plants. Of the remaining four, uh, we'll likely transfer the majority of that from being coal fired to natural gas fired. So that is a transition that we are making in the future. <coughs> so thanks for that. Next question. 